Hello everyone, I am Nikita Singh from Minions Tech. In this video, I am going to represent about our multi-vendor e-commerce website which is made by Minions Tech. This is the front end of the website. It is generally called as home page. Now we are giving a demo of our website which has been made for our customer in a same platform that is PHP Laravel. In this website, we can only change the graphic according to our customer needs. Let's get to the admin panel from where you can access this website and do whatever changes you want to in one tab. In dashboard only, we are providing a various features which are like number of pending orders, the orders which are processing, number of completed orders, total number of product which has been added to the website by vendors or admin, total number of customers and here the additional option is given where you have an option to write a blog post about your product and total number of blog posts will be shown here. This is the number of customer who have been connected to the website in last 30 days. Here your total number of customer will be visible or all your past customer which are still connected with you. Proceeding further, the sales which has been done in last 30 days. The number of sales which an admin has been made in past or you can also call it as a total number of sales. The orders which has been recently placed by the customers. And in this admin can get the details of their recent customers. In popular product category only those product are visible which are most liked by the customer and those products have the maximum number of sales. These are the details of the recent product which has been added by the admin. In this space, admin can have a look on the graph which represent the total number of sales which are made in last 30 days. And in top referral column, the number of traffic has been represented that how many percentage of people are visiting the website and from which social media platform they are coming. For example, 33.33% of people can reaching through Facebook, 11.11 through LinkedIn. From this representation, admin can have an idea that from which social media platform he is getting the maximum number of traffic and the benefit would be that they can increase their advertisement on that particular platform to sell the maximum product. This is the percentage of the customer that shows from which device they are reaching this website. In orders, all the options are same as I have been already shown you on dashboard that is all orders, pending orders, processing orders and completed orders. Now here is an option of decline order. This means the orders which are declined from the vendor side or from the customer side. For example, sometime if the product is in out of stock then the vendors will decline the orders of the customer. On the other hand, the orders which are declined from the customer side if they don't like the product. So in short, the orders which has been declined from the vendor side or from the customer side both will be shown on decline order option. In product, we have an option to add new product. In this category, we have three another options to add three different kind of product. For example, in physical product option, those products are added which customer can touch, for example, food, clothes, grocery, etc. In digital product option, we can add those products which we are selling digitally, for example, subscription of any music, videos or any OTT platform subscription. These things come under the category of digital product. 
in the option of license product category we can add only those product which required license just like antivirus in all product option each and every details of the product is given which a vendor has added on the website here you have an option to deactivate a particular product for example a product has been out of stock for 43 days and it will come in stock only after 43 days so here you have an option to deactivate that particular product so that the deactivated product will be not visible to your customers in product catalog category you can get the complete options of the catalog In the affiliate product option you have two categories that is add affiliate product in this option you have a choice to sell the product of other website like amazon flipkart or mintra through their affiliate links of the products this option you have to fill the details of the affiliate product and upload it on your website In this option you can get the details of all the product which you have sale in past through affiliate In customer options in this panel you can get the details of your customer you have an extra option to block your customer for example if a particular customer is placing an order and always return the place order so in that case you can block that particular customer and the benefit will be that your product is not visible to that particular customer here all the withdrawal details of the customer will be shown In customer default image option consumer have an option to upload their image repeat in customer default image consumer have an option to upload their image in the options of the vendors let's come to the vendor list in vendor list the details of all the vendors are given which are selling their product on your website in withdrawal option Firstly the product which has been sold by the vendors and the amount of the sold items will be received in your account and after that you have an option to pay your vendor depend on your comfort for example if a vendor is selling a cloth of rupees 500 then the amount of 500 can come to your account or in the account of admin after that admin has an option to pay to that particular vendor who has been sold the item after keeping his commission this is the subscription plan of the vendors from here you can change the background color of your vendors there are two categories given in the vendor verification option in all verification option you can get the list of all verified vendors for example 20 vendors has registered on your website to sell the product but you have given the permission to the 15 vendors to sell their product so all that 15 vendors will come under the categories of verified vendors in pending verification option these are the list of those vendor which are still waiting for the permission of admin these all are the list of those five vendors who are still waiting for the verification in vendor subscription plan in this list you can know that what are the subscription plan of your vendor for example you are charging 120 rupees to a vendor to sell 90 product for the duration of 90 days similarly you are not charging anything to a vendor to sell unlimited product for 30 days on your website so you can create a subscription plan for a vendor based on your comfort in manage category we have three options in main category you can add grocery in sub categories of grocery is food and in child category you can add rice pulses etc in bulk product upload you have an option to upload the product in bulk i am explaining you step wise step 1 firstly you have to download excel sheet from here step 2 when the sheet is downloaded fill the details about your product in that particular sheet 
then from here choose the file step 3 after then press on start import then all your product will be uploaded within few minutes this is the discussion about your product here you can see the reviews on your product from here the comments and from here the reports you also have an option to delete the comments so if there is a negative comment on your website you can delete it so that it cannot be visible to your rest of the customers from here you can create a coupon for example if you want to give a discount on the occasion of any festival or to any new customer you can create a discount coupon from here all your blog will be here visible to you these are the category on which you have written your blog and these are the total number of blog posts which you have written in messages we have two option one is ticket and another one is dispute all the query of your customer will be shown in ticket option and all the complaints are visible in the option of disputes from here you can change the logo fav icon you can also add loader these are the type of shipping method that is free shipping or express shipping packaging you have a different option to create packaging that is default or gift packaging you can charge money for any kind of additional packaging options just like for a gift packaging etc in pickup location this option is similar like dominos takeover and this the customer have an option to go to the shop directly and receive their orders by themselves they have to pay for their orders before and after that they can directly go to the shop and receive their orders from the shop only all the content of the website can be managed from here from here you can manage the footer in affiliate product option you have an two option to charge a commission percentage wise for the affiliate product or bonus or you have an also option to activate it or deactivate it from the pop up banner option you can add pop up banner for example a pop up banner will be open in front of your customer from there your customer can subscribe you in error banner options all the banner which are not working properly will be visible on the error banner in this option if your website is under maintenance or you are still doing product listing on your website you can write it under maintenance or any text based on your comfort after that when your customer will reach on your site then it will be shown that this website is under maintenance in home page setting option from here you can add a slider from here you can add a services you are providing from here you can add banner these are the reviews of the customer on your products in partner option these all are the details of the companies which you have been tie up with all your partners in home page customization option all the changes on the home page will be done from here either you have to on the slider or you have to show the best seller each and everything will be managed from here in menu page setting you can write about the faq page that is frequently asked question page contact us page or any other pages like terms and condition or much more in in email setting you have an option to send email to your customer in multiple way like if you want to send email to one person then you have an option to send it from email template if you want to send email to a large number of people at a time you can send it from email configuration and if you want to send email in a group you can choose an option of group email in payment setting options we have three categories in payment information there are 15 plus payment gateways of both indian and international like stripe paypal razor pay etc in the payment gateway option you have an option to take the payment through offline medium like your bank account or through any upi you can also add currencies of different countries if you are targeting your foreign customers so from here you have an option to add currencies 
From here you can add all your social media links like Facebook, Twitter, etc. You can log in to this website through Facebook, Google. From here you can change the language of the website. For example, if you want that this website will be visible in Hindi, Tamil or Telugu, then you have an option to choose from here. You can choose to change the language of a particular panel like for vendors or for header or footer. For example, you have hired a vendor who don't know English. So, for the comfort of that particular vendor, you can choose an option of Tamil, Telugu or Hindi. So, the panel of the vendors will be shown in the language you have chosen for the vendor. You can also change the language of the admin panel from these options. In SEO tool categories, we have three options. The first is popular product. In this category, the popular product will be changed automatically depend on the customer likes. The product which are most likable by the customer will be shown on popular product. In Google Analytics, you have an option to paste the Google Analytics code. The benefit of this code will be that you can get an idea about the daily traffic on your website. In website meta keywords, you have to write those keywords name which you want to get your website ranking. In manage staff option, you can get the details of the staff you have hired. These are the list of the customer who has subscribed you. From here, you can manage the role of your staff you have hired. In this, you have an option that how much control or access you are providing to a particular staff. For example, you have hired a manager and you want only two options that is orders and product will be visible to your manager, then only two options are visible to your manager in the admin panel when manager log in to this website. The benefit would be that your privacy will be completely protected. From here you can clear the catch and from here you can generate the backup of complete website like customer vendors or admin so i hope you like this website and if you are planning out to set an online store then do contact us on minion stake we will overwhelm you with the multiple options of multi-vendor e-commerce website and with our dedicated support and services